We receive information from the field informing us that there are movements and there is um, suspicious activities happening in a certain uh, place. Armed with a search warrant, Palawan's Provincial Law Enforcement Task Group raided this warehouse in Barangay Rio Tuba in Batarasa Wednesday morning. Authorities discovered thousands of freshwater turtles placed in improvised pools. The task force rescued more than 4,000 turtles, while 90 dead turtles were also recovered. I was called at six, 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I was at home when I get uh, first a text message and then a call saying, wow, Sabine, we need you. And we have 4,000. He said, 4,000? Cannot, I can't believe it. The turtles were brought to the Palawan Wildlife Rescue and Conservation Center in Puerto Princesa Thursday morning for inventory. Wildlife experts are considering releasing the turtles back into the wild. They called me up to inform that uh, several thousands of turtles were confiscated and they have no place to place them uh, temporarily. So they asked my permission that they be housed in PWRCC. started mobilizing people, preparing tanks. So I called people, uh, drained water, released other turtles, get as much place that we could have and uh, prepare for this. But something like that you can't prepare. We found out about the crisis in the Philippines on a Thursday afternoon. By Saturday evening, I was on a plane to Palawan and Within a day, we had joined forces together with our, our colleagues at the Turtle Survival Alliance and the Turtle Conservation Fund, the IUCN, all the, the major turtle conservation organizations were together. Local guys, foreign guys, uh, all coming together with a common agenda of trying to see what can be done for these animals. As shocked as I was when this happened, um, the, the overwhelmed I was with the reaction of the international community because in the first night when, when we had offloaded the animals and, and I sent a help call uh, out to, to everybody, I got immediate repl re reply and I was almost down to tears and saying, wow, these people really care and that's what we need and together we can do it. With the rediscovery of this species, an immense demand for the especially pet trade started and that is what caused the crisis. They were essentially rediscovered um, in, a, in a local, in Puerto Princesa, the, the, the capital of the island here. They were uh, found in a restaurant. Someone noticed them and said, where did you get these? <laughs> because we've been looking for them for decades. 
Arvin Desmos and his group, they, he was here with students and they had a herb watch uh, a project. They were doing surveys all over and during that activities they found it. I believe they had dinner there or I don't know and they saw, saw the turtle. And then the surge started again. What's happened is a lot of these, these animals became infected um, because of their poor conditions. And that infection then uh, spread through the blood and seeded itself in, in the shell. The body tries to wall it off um, and it's kind of a race between whether they'll be able to wall it off and push it to the outside or whether it gets walled off and it pushes to the inside. If it pushes to the inside, and ultimately the turtle will probably die. We're very aware of the news. We saw it on the TV that they confiscated 4,000, almost 4,000 turtles. And when they contacted us, we came immediately here. It would be better if um, they could stay longer and teach us more because we are so interested in um, doing the works. So far as the recent apprehension is concerned, it actually, and in, in previous cases actually, it all started with community support. We receive information from the field informing us that there are movements and there is um, suspicious activities happening in a certain uh, place. Uh, this is somewhere in Batalasa. And um, the search warrant was actually addressed to a certain um, a Chinese national. And uh, during the operation, we found that uh, 4,402 freshwater turtles of various species. The Chinese, though, was not found there. A certain Peter Lai, who is said to be the owner, explained he no longer owns the property. Justify na lang niya, the burden of proof, kumbaga, kung kasama siya dun sa kasuhan. But the council maintains he may still face charges if he fails to back up his claim. Under the rules, under the law, we actually took the caretaker, but um, since it's more of punitive, uh, we only have about 18 hours to actually uh, hold them. And then if you go beyond that time with, with the person still with you, then you might be um, you know, opening yourself to a counter uh, case, which is uh, illegal detention. So we have to actually set them free. I wouldn't say that uh, I would recommend for amendments, but then it's actually the execution of the laws because we have an almost uh, very good, if not perfect, loss for environment. But uh, during the execution, something goes wrong, and that's where the problem starts, uh, but not with the law itself. I hope we can get down to the buyer or the people involved and, and have them prosecuted, because if it's shown to the people that people get caught, but run away again, then the learning is we can do it. And so far as the case is concerned, the case has not yet been um, um, uh, filed. The information has not been filed to the prosecutor's office yet. We are studying um, more uh, in detail, especially on the identification and who actually to be. 
uh, the persons who are actually the culprits along this line. at this level that we are looking at now that, that, that was not the same before. Uh, pet trade started with the rediscovery but these numbers uh, and going to China or Hong Kong uh, there, there is a new demand. <laughs> Behind me, there's 200 turtles. Editorial release, we treated them all today. We selected 400 and something of the healthiest ones. The rescue effort at this point has progressed pretty far. We've released uh, 2,800 and some odd turtles since we started about a week ago. We did a release last night that involved over 400 turtles at two locations and uh, both of those releases went really well. Last night we went a couple miles into the forest uh, to good habitat just as the sun was going down. Uh, we, got, uh, we got all the way out there and there was great habitat for the turtles and there was a lot of space. You know, most of the turtles, when you put them in the water, they just started kicking against you and swam off. When we released them, we got the good feeling. The, the turtles at this point, the, the numbers have been reduced enough that we think we're soon going to be able to leave the wildlife center where they are now and relocate them to the Kantala Foundation campus. 
which is a, a more permanent facility for them. So once we move them there, we're hoping to be able to provide more individualized attention. Once they relocate, we should be able to uh, pay more attention to individual turtles.